Hello. How many rolls do you think it would take in order to roll doubles if you have two dice? When I do this in class, I'd have people take dice and keep rolling and rolling until they get doubles. And then we would kind of chart out, make a histogram of the results. Like how many people got it on the first roll, and then the second roll, and the third roll, and so on, and so on, until everybody got doubles. Now, uh, is this a binomial distribution? Hopefully you're saying no. There's not a fixed number of trials. So uh, theoretically, you can just keep on rolling and rolling uh, forever. So uh, this is a new type of distribution, and they call it a geometric distribution. A geometric distribution is just has some of the same properties. You have to deal with either success or failure. All of the observations have to be independent. The uh, probability of success is the same for each observation. So all those are the same. The only one that's different is here. In a geometric setting, the variable of interest is the number of trials required to obtain the first success. So the number of rolls before you get a doubles. Uh, the number of cards you pull out until you get a red card. Things like that. Uh, those are uh, geometric setting. How many times you bowl until you get a strike. Now, if I want to uh, find the theoretical probabilities for this, uh, let's think about it. The probability that I get it on my first roll. Well, there's six possibilities out of 36, or six doubles out of 36 possibilities. So there's a one six chance that I'll get it on my first roll. The probability that you get it on your second roll takes into account that you didn't get it your first time. So that's five six. You didn't get it the first time, but you get it doubles the second time. The probability that you get it on your third roll means you didn't get it on your first roll, you didn't get it on your second roll, but you did get it on your third roll, and so on and so on. On your fourth roll, you didn't get it for the first three rolls, and then you get it oh, on your fourth roll, and then so on and so on, all the way down. And uh, for the seventh one, it's five, six, and you'll be multiplying that six times, because on the seventh time, you get it. So is there a rule here? Hopefully you see a pattern. Uh, and the rule is that you take the probability of failure, 1 minus p, to the n minus 1, and then you multiply it by the probability of success. So let's look at Corrine again. She's a 75% free throw shooter. What's the probability she makes her first free throw on her first try? Well, uh, she makes it on the first try, so that's 0 0.75. Uh, if she makes it on the second try, that's 0 0.25 times 0 0.75, which we could figure out. is 0 0.1, uh, 1875. Probability that she makes it on her third is 0 0.25 times 0 0.25 times 0 0.75. 0 0.04, so on. The n try would be 1 minus 0 0.75 to the n minus 1, so that or 0 0.25 to the n minus 1, and then times 0 0.75 at the end. So that's our geometric probability. So probability x equals n, 1 minus n to the, 1 minus p to the n minus 1 times p. And hopefully you can do some on your own. On your own.